Welcome to this short video presentation about the marine binoculars and a short explanation which features are really important for marine binoculars. As you probably can imagine, marine binoculars are used on the sea while sailing or on a boat. And what is really important is that they offer great waterproofness since they will definitely <clears throat> they will definitely come in contact with water so waterproofness is one of the key features of any marine binocular what is also important is that they are fog proof that means that they have to be filled with dry nitrogen uh, so that even if they are used at low temperatures there is no internal fogging there is no internal condensation um, they also have to be robust and reliable and well made since use on the sea is in most cases really hard and harsh. Uh, almost all marine binoculars feature a seven time magnification and there is a good reason for this. Uh, if you use any kind of binoculars on a boat or on a sailing boat it's really hard to keep the image stable and magnification 7 proved itself to be the best choice since on one side it is easy to have a stable image and still 7 time magnification gives you enough power to see objects in the distance since most objects which you will look through a marine binocular will be really far it's different to uh, to situations when you use the binoculars on uh, in nature or anywhere else uh, on the sea it's a little bit different everything is really far away and the magnification seven time uh, seven time magnification proved itself to be the best choice if you are using the higher magnification then you will need some sort of image stabilization so there are many marine binoculars also with higher magnifications but they have an image stabilization. Most of marine binoculars also feature poroprism. That means that the light transmission rate is higher and it is easier to get really good waterproofness if you have a poroprism and individual focusing. That means there is no central knob for focusing but you only set the focus once for each eye and then you leave it at that setting. This is great for waterproofness. It's also great if you use the binoculars in low light since you only set the focus once and you don't need to adjust it anymore. You set it once and that's it. And when there is really not much light, uh, the other focusing system with a central knob can cause problems if you don't have enough light to focus. So individual focusing is really common on marine binoculars for two reasons, waterproofing and for use in low light. So almost all marine binoculars have an individual focusing. What also comes with poor prism and individual focusing are the eyepieces which are in majority of marine binoculars made out of rubber and have a similar similar design like this eyepieces on this Steiner. That means that a lot of marine binoculars are really hard to use with glasses. There are some which offer traditional eyepieces which can be found on roof prism binoculars in most cases, which offer different positions for those of us who use glasses. What also sets apart marine binoculars from others are the ability to have a compass on the binoculars. This compass has an indicator in the field of view, either digital or analog. This one has digital, this one has analog. And that means that while you are looking at the distance, you can see also the compass reading. 
uh, even more rare than compass some marine binoculars also has a reticle have a reticle in the field of view for range estimations this is also quite a common feature the most common accessory with marine binoculars are floating straps that means that if a binocular falls into water the floating strap will make sure that it doesn't sink so that you can find it and pick it out from the water so if I make a short summary the most important features of marine binoculars are waterproofing, fog proofing, seven time magnification if magnification is higher then it has to have an image stabilization poroprism design and the compass sometimes also a reticle for range finding in the field of view thank you for watching I hope I made it clear what are the common feature features of marine binoculars but if you have any additional questions please send us an email or use comments on YouTube